MD with the RVA Returners. Today I'm going to be talking about the Crystal Cup in Tampa, and I will not be there playing. I will be there commentating and streaming, but um, if I was there playing, this is what I think I would be playing. Uh, Mono Wind for sure is, is the deck I'd be bringing, but it really comes down to a couple of tech choices I'm still ironing out. So I'm going to talk about two different Mono Wind lists. And um, they're really ultimately the same, very similar lines and very similar win condition, but a couple different tech choices that is really a meta call. And um, I, between now and then, if I was playing, I'd have to figure out which one I would be going with. So let's dive into the list. I'm going to start with um, what I kind of think of as like last season's mono win list, right? I mean, you're um, looking at the Yuri Chalinka package in both of these. Uh, this one is not running a lot of Opus 8 cards. It's really only running Onion Knight, Death Gaze, and Alexander. I have a Ninja in the backup line because I think it's funny to run a Ninja and an Archer. I don't know why. But um, not really doing a lot of upgrades with this list, more like tweaking. And I think we're going to see a lot of lists as more sets come out that are just kind of locked in. And um, when you boil it down about 10 percent of this list has changed with opus 8 which is not a a, a a small amount or anything um but not a lot has changed i have tweaked this to make forwards a lot bigger um a lot more capable of winning fights because i think that's kind of where you want the deck to be so i'm running two arc from uh, opus 5 and i'm running one maria uh the backup line is tight um running the Seed Sayer package in this, and when you look at the FFCC backups and how smooth it makes finding your backups and playing them, you always had access to that in Mono Wind if you ran the Seed Sayers. Arun Senna as three, uh, Rayo Senna as two, and then three of Connie Senna. That's a, that's a great turn one. If you find Arun Senna, you just tutor up Rayo Senna, and uh, you just go to town and play the backups you have until you have five of them. I'm opting not to go with the Legendary Aerith in either of these lists. I just love the tempo of play of getting a free backup from Planetary Protector Aerith. Plus, Planetary Protector is a um, Planet Protector. It's just, uh, it's really good. And I, I, I like that for its blowout potential. What Legendary Aerith is doing in this list is not something I think it absolutely needs. And the tempo gain uh, from a free Aerith and Planet Protector is, is something it does need, and, and I'm going to stay on that route. So uh, let me continue down the forwards, jumping around a little bit here. Um, we're running three Ishtola, which I think you're going to see in every mono win list. I'm running two of the Opus 3 Zidane, looks at your hand and steals something from it. And um, let's talk about this Zidane versus other Zidane options. Because I'm going in with the new Alexander, which is just choose a character of cost four or more or break it, that is replacing Chaos Walker of the Wheel. If you're not running Chaos Walker, I think you run the uh, Hand Hate Thief Zidane just because he just comes down. I mean, there's I don't need to justify this card. Everybody knows how good it is. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about this package of the new Alexander plus Zidane versus um, your other options when we look at the next list. Uh, I'm looking at two Barbaresia, which I've always felt very good. Sometimes I go to one and I miss it. And uh, I like having two in this list because you have so much incremental ping damage. Works really well. Uh, so a new addition to the forwards that I think is the most impactful is Onion Knight. And, uh, you know, if you listen to podcasts, you might have caught what I said before. I, I like what it does late in the game. This is really Vada number four and five. Vada is just a crazy good card in this list. I'm running three. I've tried cutting him before. I don't like it. I think he's always good. You never don't want to see this card unless it's turn one or you've already got Vada in play. So what Onion Knight offers is um, the same effect, same size body, which if you're looking at Ark and Maria can get really, really big. And um, later in the game, he is uh, just really good. And the EX burst is great, and it combos with uh, Alhenelin, which is always a, a nice thing for this list. Then we've got three Bart and three Connie Senna. So the reason this list is really high on my radar is that Mono Lightning is... Very much back with Opus 8, that's my theory at least, and what Connie Senna offers is evasion from a lot of what Mono Lightning is trying to do. So she can't be chosen by uh, abilities, that shuts down a lot of the interaction that Mono Lightning brings, and she's a free forward. So I like her a lot better than the other options, I think Bart's and her at the top end being free is really good, and um, I'm going to keep this list this way, I, I don't think it gains a lot from any of the other cards. Um, Death Gaze is good in my book as a one-of in this list, 
because I really just want, um, I like the, the two CP Alexander here to uh, choose a monster break it, or just choose a backup you control, get another activation off Alphenolum. Not really a bad time to see this card, and um, Death Gaze is just a card that you find at the end of the game, and you just win with it. Uh, that's that's the approach there. So I think one is fine. And uh, going on the backup line, we've got three Alhenilim, one Archer, which is really two Archers because I'm running the Ninja as well. Then we got one Neon, who can just really abuse Death Gaze, can really abuse the Dane, and uh, a lot of the other cards in the list. The backup line is tight, though, so I'm just rolling with one of those. If you wanted to flex around that, too, I would not feel, I wouldn't judge you at all about that. Uh, earlier I mentioned two Rayo Senna and four Aaron Senna. I like this the 2-3-2 the two, three, two, or 3-3-2 three, three, two being um, Connie Senna as the other card. I think is the right package you want to run. Uh, three Aerith. If you're going for Planet Protector, I, I just like finding it as many times as I can. So I like three. And then one Maria. So this is this is Opus 7 with some new toys. This isn't a lot of um, really... This is the safer approach because I have a lot of repetitions of this list. And um, it's good. I mean, it's all, it was very good last season. And I think it's good now. There... Let's look at the other version. Let's look at the updated. I, I call this, uh, you know, uh, version 2 of the Opus 8 win list. And this one uh, looks a lot different because it's not running the Seed Sayer package. It's running the FFCC backups, which in a vacuum, if you don't count Connie Sinna, the FFC backups are a lot better because of Waltrill. And um, that filtering makes the deck that much smoother. And if I was going to run the FFCC backups, you don't run the Seed Sayer backups. I think it gets a little too crowded. And um, I really like Waltrill for what he offers. Kind of like a free mulligan in a sense. You can also break him and kind of free some space up back there. Um, nothing really new in this list other than the FFCC backups. Kind of um, subbing in for the Seed Sayer package. Let's look at the forwards. We still get two Arc. We still have three Chalenka, three Ishtola, two Barbaricia. The new update here is Trey. And so Trey is sort of filling in duties with uh, Connie Senna. I could actually argue that Trey is in a much better position than Connie Senna, just because he's under Diabolos. Also, he's he's sort of that real logjam for a mono lightning list. I mean, he's active, they can't do anything about it, and he's dull, they are usually looking for active forwards. So I like, kind of like him if you're really facing mono lightning, you find your Trey, play it, and feel good about things. Uh, we're going with three Vada, two of the um, Opus 6 Zidane, that's different in this list as well, and because we have this Zidane, we're going with three Chaos Walker, the wheel. We're not going with a new Alexander for our removal in this. If you've got this Zidane down, first of all, he can't be chosen by opponent's abilities either, so he's also doing some Connie Senna duty um, with Trey, so they're carrying that load. But when you attack with him and you've got a Chaos Walker in hand, that makes your Chaos Walker so much better. You can see what their forwards are, and then basically uh, keep your Zidane healthy if you, you know, attack into a very unfavorable combat. Look at their hand and see whatever forwards they have. If they don't have any, if they block that Zidane, you can just blow it up with a Chaos Walker. You don't care. You know nothing's coming. You can really easily mitigate the downside of Chaos Walker if you're running the uh, 4CP Opus 6 Zidane. So I like New Alexander a lot. I think if you're running that, you go back with the 3CP Zidane. If you're wanting to run the 4CP for the reasons I just listed, that he has, uh, can't be chosen by opponent's abilities, and um, just because the card is a beater and he kind of puts a whole different condition on the game, if you're going with him, I think you go with Chaos Walker the wheel. It's just better removal. It has less, uh, it's got the EX burst, it's cheaper, and it has less limits than the uh, than Alexander. Um, of course, it can't hit any monsters or, or backups, but... That li this list has other options for that. I, I don't think that's ultimately what you're worried about. And then uh, we got three Barts, one Cecil, and one Fina. I really like Fina. I think a lot of people really like Fina. I think she's a lot better in a wind water list. I'm going to run one of her in here. Um, you could probably justify two, but I just think one is fine. I think a lot of times uh, you're going to find her and uh, use her when you need her, or you're just going to pitch her when you don't. And... Um, to me, she kind of looks like Bart's number four that doesn't have an EX first. And um, and I think Cecil's the same way. You don't really need him early. Kind of looking for him late when you can get that full advantage from him. So I'm, com I'm comfortable with one. And um, since we, we have a little bit more room to flex around on the forwards, there's one less in this list, which allows me to jam in two Death Gaze. And uh, again, I think Death Gaze is just a really good card. I don't think two is wrong at all. I, I don't know if you need three. 
one or two is very, very comfortable, and it's just such good removal that most lists can't deal with three CP monsters. So, you know, it's a tough flip of the coin for me looking at these two lists. I think they're both really good. I think they're both uh, doing what Mono Win wants to do and ramping into backups that uh, give you some good value and uh, let you get your backups out so that you can start playing free forwards. If I had to, I would probably go with uh, my version 2, which has Trey and has the FFCC package, because honestly, I just think I want a little bit of a refresher from playing a lot of the Seed Sayers in the last season. That's a personal call. Um, if you're not interested in um, what this list is offering and you think uh, I'm right with Connie Senna being um, a better top end and a better choice, I, I think you're right too. I don't know. I, I think both these lists could do really well. I think if uh, I was going to go play at Tampa, I'd be on the lookout for for uh, Mono Lightning. I'd probably be on the lookout for Fire Ice as well, which has a lot of ability interaction with Laswell and Duncan and other cards like that. So I think both of these lists are in a really good spot. They have a, they didn't get worse with the new Opus set. I don't know if they got incredibly better. Um, people would argue that the FFCC backups make it better. I don't think it makes this deck better. I mean, it makes a lot of decks really good. Uh, but this one already had it with a Seed Sayers. So uh, I'm flipping a coin, um, leaning towards uh, playing with new cards. Uh, either way, very similar lines and very high power level. I think you could do really well with Mono Wind. I'm really interested to see what, what comes out and uh, what takes our um, top eight and makes an impact. Um, hope you are too. Hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.